Preston Physics Grade 11, Electricity and Magnetism Note 4, Electric Potential Difference. When looking at potential difference, we're going to go back to looking at gravitational potential difference or gravitational potential energy, where we have a ball at the top of a ramp, which is going to have a lot of gravitational potential energy. The ball is then going to roll down that ramp, and at the bottom, it's not going to have a lot of gravitational potential energy. It's lost that potential energy. Now, the difference between the two potentials, well, that's the potential difference of energy. So, similar to this, we can look at circuits. Now, we look at the electrons in a circuit, and then we look at the electrons going into a load. So, like a light bulb, or an oven, or a stove, or something like that. When the electrons enter, we're going to look at a stove. When the electrons enter the stove, they have high potential energy. Now, when they go into that stove, they create thermal energy, so they're leaving the system as thermal energy. So then when they come out the other side of the stove, they have low potential energy. They've lost some of that potential energy in the form of thermal energy. Now, with that being said, we can look at the difference between these two values, the high potential energy before, the low potential energy after, and find the potential difference. This is also known as voltage. Now, when we're looking at our voltage equation, we have to know what voltage actually is first. Voltage is the change in energy per charge. So we have V equals delta E over Q, where V is the voltage or potential difference, and it's measured in volts or joules per coulomb. Delta E is the change in energy in joules, and Q is the charge in coulombs. Now, we can rearrange this equation in a couple of different ways. If you look at the bottom of your page, you'll notice that. But we're going to just look at the first example, where we have a 12-volt car battery supplying 1,000 coulombs of charge to start a car, and we're looking for how much energy is used. So we know we have 12 volts. We know we have a charge of 1,000 coulombs, and we need to find our energy. So we use our V equals E over Q equation. We change it to E equals VQ, and we find that we have 12,000 volts. I want you to try the next example on your own and try to give your own summary of electric current and electric potential difference at the bottom of the page. We'll discuss this in class tomorrow. The questions for this note are 7 to 9 in your yellow duotang.